you guys welcome back to black sheep family tv my name is the call if you're new here if you're new here screw go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell be down with the gang 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 subscribe it's free join the family you know you're gonna be back so, so you might as well go ahead subscribe to the channel because you're gonna come back like i don't even know why you sitting here stunning with yourself being hard-headed i don't even know why but if you don't watch more than two videos you might as well subscribe, it's free. You know, go on your bag, you can write me off on your taxes, sis. Even though it's free, I'm just saying. And make sure you dab on that notification bell. Put it on personal. So you can be all up in my business. All up in my business. Hat, but not really hat. Y'all know, in these YouTube shoes, you can put what you want to put on here. Uh, today's video is going to be... Also, all my social medias is linked down in the description. Jay's place is down in the description, which is the hubby channel. Y'all be want to see him gaming in these streets. My beauty channel is down in the description. I'm not going to put up no more videos until y'all give me to 1,000 subscribers on my beauty channel. It just is what it is. Y'all got two videos that y'all asked about. Y'all been talking about, we want a beauty channel. We want a beauty channel. I give y'all a beauty channel and what y'all do. Y'all don't even subscribe. The audacity of you guys. Nah, I'm just playing. And um, Jay's place channel is linked in the description. It's my husband's channel. Gaming, fishing, CBD. It's on his channel. But today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys uh, nine, ten things that I have learned with uh, uh, that I have I learned know. with dealing with someone with autism. Julian is our first child to have had autism, so these are just like some of the effects. All kids do not go through this autism autism is a whole spectrum that's why they call it asd or whatever because it's a spectrum disorder autism spectrum disorder is what asd is called stand for it's called so that means he's anywhere on the spectrum they can't just narrow it down of what part he is in the middle of the spectrum he's not like high risk but he's in the middle so the first thing Julian likes to hide under the bed. He likes to be under the bed. He likes to be in a tent. He likes to seclude himself, like, away from everybody. He feels safe under the bed. If it was a fire to happen or anything like that, we would have to look under the bed. That's where Julian feels safe. It's under the bed or in a tent, like, secluded with himself. And that is part of his autism. A lot of kids with autism do um, find safety with being under the bed. When Julian gets upset... A lot of times he bang his head. He don't care if you bang it on the floor. He don't care if you bang it on the wall. He's going to bang his head if he's too upset. Uh, and there's really nothing you can really do about it. We might end up giving him a helmet with his old helmet head little boy. He going to be one of them little helmet head little boy. So if he don't kind of get that in control. Because right now it's crucial for his little noggin to be intact. Uh... He hates loud noises. Uh, and that's just like, you know, kids are like ambulance or fire trucks, stuff like that. No. Julian don't like none of that. He hates loud noises. Uh, Julian will hear loud noise and do like this. Or if he's in trouble or he don't feel safe, he do like this and he kind of like panic or whatever. And also, he don't like the elevator. Like, the poor baby was in there uh, in the elevator. And I just not figured this out. He was in the elevator, like, worried, like, scared. And he just kind of was standing, like, oh, my God, I'm moving. Like, he was really worried about being in the elevator. He, he, he does not like elevators. And I think that's part of his autism because Carl and Crystal don't really have that problem. Jackson really don't have that problem. But Julian is terrified of the elevator. He has no understanding of danger. Like, strange danger, not the one out in front of his car, not the door out in front of the at the door. Like, the daycare is, like, really trying to work with him, farce with that. And Julian is not one of those kids that have a stranger and won't go to him. Like, Julian will go with a stranger. So, we got to kind of worry about that. And the daycare, y'all know he started a new daycare. The daycare was saying how she was worried she had to lock all the doors because Julian do not know how to open up the doors. Now, not only do he know how to open up the doors, but he runs out of them. So, the doors have been locked all that day because he was darting out the uh, room. So, you always kind of worry about his safety. He loves water. Julian loves water. He loves the pool. He loves the bathtub. Julian has always been like a water baby. 
he should have been an Aquarius, even though we're not really an air, a water sign, we're air sign, but yeah. Julian loves water, and I think Julian is a Libra. Yeah, I think he's a Libra. Julian has destructive behavior. When I say destructive behavior, I mean, well, pull off his uh mattress off his little toddler bed or jackson toddler bed will throw up the uh twin bed mattress because he has transitioned to a twin bed he will take all the little railings down there we have to julian poof the room he will take the tv throw it on the floor he punched the tv he clamps on the dresser he throws all the drawers out throw all his clothes out julian's very destructive when he's having a fit he will hit another kid and then the same five minutes later, he when the other kid is ready to hit him back or hit him back, he'll just go like this and just be like, oh my God, like he's terrified, but yet you hit that child. Like, I don't know, but yeah, Julian does that. Uh, he has a certain fixation on a certain type of toy. He looks at stuff real close or whatever, and he has like a fixation on, he has a transformer car that he can't be without most kids with autism have a particular toy blanket anything that they just can't not have uh also that his blue chase car and that yellow transformer and when he goes to bed at night now his dad and bought him uh uh jay bought him a chase teddy bear he has to sleep with that teddy bear to go to sleep like if he don't have that teddy bear he will stay up all night so i guess it's kind of like a comfort bear for him so a lot of kids with autism do have like a comfort toy that they have toy blanket any of that so a lot of kids with autism it's hard for you to communicate with them because most of them can't really they're, they're non-verbal so he a point here uh julian's getting better with his speech and that's like part of the reason why i don't i don't want to move him from daycare to daycare to daycare to daycare we had kind of wanted to keep him in the same daycare that he was at because she was real good like his speech therapist was the best speech therapist that we could ask for um uh, getting him to communicate with getting him to talk and stuff like that but he was julian is kind of almost still non-verbal he's real behind far as with the vocabulary vocabulary the vocabulary of another child his age um he points at stuff and stuff like that but now he can say eat he don't say I'm hungry. He just say eat. He say drink. He say mama, dad, dad. Uh oh. And like his speech is like it's real hard to understand to break up what he's trying to say, and sometimes it frustrates him. But we, you know, he would be three next month, and we still kind of sometimes have to be like, what did he say? Like I think he said this, and I think he said that. So yeah, you guys, these are some of the traits of a kid with autism not saying if your kid is doing any of these things all these things that your kid has autism because full disclaimer i am not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not a speech pathologist logic i can't even say it so you know i ain't that um uh, yeah i'm not none of that like i said the, i just have four kids all four of them have been in some type of physical occupational and speech therapy and julian's the first child we had with autism so we're still learning autism uh, another thing that I was going to say is the wait list to get help with kids with autism is way too long. Uh, as far as with counseling, we're knowing how to help him. We're knowing how to not only discipline him, but what he do and don't know that he's doing wrong. Like, we don't we don't know what he does and does not know that he's doing wrong. Um, you know, it, it's just when your kid, if you ever, if you have just gotten a diagnosis of autism, I made this video for you so that you can know that you're not alone that some of the things that your kid is doing could be normal like i said all kids that have autism don't just do this and flick on lights and don't like certain textures i thought that they were those who are kids with autism and like that's a high a high not functioning level but a high level of autism uh also you might have heard that your kid can grow out of autism the doctor told us that your kids that kids can grow out of autism older people will be like your kid can't grow out of autism that's nothing they can grow out of i beg to differ and i don't listen to negative stuff like that when i know a doctor several doctors have told me doctors therapists is like you know if your kid is high function if you catch it early enough you can kind of work with them and they can grow out of autism um 
I don't know if it's different. Well, yeah, it's different scales and levels or autism. Uh, which they change autism to ASD because there's different levels of it. So if you have some, if you're worried that your kid will always have autism, if a doctor or actual professional that can diagnose your kid with autism has told you that nah, more like that, I gonna do it. They might not grow out of it, but the person that and maybe because Julian Jackson is so young, but Julian's so young, they did tell us that you know he can grow out of it. This is something that you can work at and grow him out of. So. I don't know. Then, you know, some people be like, you know, they just like to put diagnosis on certain kids. I don't know. I just know that Julian's a little different and teaching him is different. And with Julian, I treat him kind of like the rest of the kids because some stuff he do know right from wrong and some stuff he don't. But I don't want to treat you no different. I want you, I don't want you to feel like he's no different because sometimes when you treat kids too different, and be like, oh, well, you know, he don't know no better day in turn be like, they use that as a clutch or a handicap instead of owning up to, yeah, they know better, but they just still gonna do whatever they wanna do. Yeah. Uh, also, autism is not, they don't necessarily mean that your child is going to be mentally anything. They also have a, like, they don't mean that your child's not gonna be able to actually function like an adult. Cause autism and, Re retardation is something totally different uh and that's like a kid that's slower because they can't actually learn and stuff like that those are two different things so don't think that just because your kid have autism or a little different that they don't they're not smart to me our kids with autism are the most creative people to me that there is it's like they think with both sides of their brains and we're just stuck with one but yeah i just want to say you know you will get through it they have programs like the AVA program that they will hire somebody to come out with you with your kid and the wait list is probably long in your state because I know it's long AF in Arkansas but the wait list is long because it's a person that comes out you know 20 or 30 hours or sometimes 40 hours a week and will work with you with potty training your child with behavior strategies they gonna see what you don't know and they're gonna assess the child to see what you need help with and what the child need help with and they could come and be that help they're like hey we here to help we've been trying with this i think that's pretty cool you know and that's just how how i feel about it or whatever so dealing with a child with autism has been difficult but it's not impossible and like i say god not gonna put more on you than you can bear i hope this video helps somebody i hope somebody got kind of got more of an understanding also julian is two he'll be three next month and we found out we found out he had autism when he was two. Um, we had to wait six months to get a diagnosis, uh, and then he did get diagnosed that day. Um, and he will do a follow up in January. So, yeah, we, it's pretty new to us, but that's that's the difference between him and like all our other kids. Cause I have four kids with Julian and Jackson, Carter and Crystal, and Jay also have four kids with Julian and Jackson and his oldest son, Jalen, and his little girl. Like, so out of six kids, he's the only one that has autism, so we're learning as we go. But I hope this video will help you. I don't want this video to be too long and too rambling, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. Be blessed. Peace.